Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video. I've had a couple people request that I show you guys how to do a boss fight solo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what I have in this lineup, just so you can tell, I've got a Daedon, Mew Tyrannus, as well as about, give or take, 12 Deinonychus. Now, this is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do the boss fight, which you're also going to need, just so you know, a bunch of raw meat, some sort of weapon to take the Manticore out of the sky, med brews, armor, obviously all over yourself, uh, spyglass, and then some food just in case you need it because it's always good to have. Now, a couple tips before you go in there. One, make sure this is loaded because if it's not, it's going to be a problem for you. Two, make sure your Deodon is on follow and ignore group commands because otherwise he's going to take off after everything because the point of these guys is you're basically going to whistle them, as you can see right here, to attack target. You want to whistle attack my target, so that way they're good to go, and then you're going to whistle attack on targets in order to do this. Now the reason you're bringing Deinonychus, just so you know, is that basically they do that bleed effect, and that does a ton of damage. Now another fun fact about the Deinonychus, they are totally ignored by the bosses. Now there are lots of other ways to do this with more than one person with Deinonychus, but this is a way to show you on how, well, we do it and it helps a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on my UD. Rule number one, do not stand or like be mounted on your dinosaur when you start this, otherwise it's not going to work very well for you. And again, before we start, if you don't mind, uh, it'd be awesome. I've got a thousand subs now. It's super cool. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me, but if you're watching this, if you don't mind subbing and liking, that'd be really appreciated. And uh, let's keep pumping out some awesome videos for you, and I'll keep doing what I can. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do this boss fight. So... Again, 28 seconds. When it gets down to zero, just some quick advice. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not, whatever you do, make sure you are 100% avoiding moving. Because the more you move, the higher probability you lose everything. So stand still. Obviously, you want to make sure no one joins with you. But when it hits zero, do not move. We've lost a few guys this way. So, Deinonychus are good to go. What you're going to do, as soon as you start this boss fight... Load up your, where is he? Da -da -da, Daedon. I just leveled up his food a ton. And you're going to put all of that food on him. And what you're going to do, make sure you go down the steps here. Otherwise the Manticore won't actually aggro into the game. You see there it goes. Sometimes it's an issue, so you want to be very careful about that. Now we're going to go ahead. Da -da -da, make sure we attack these birds. And boom because they do a lot of damage. So you kind of just want to put them in the middle of all your stuff here. Dragon should be landing momentarily, and this is why you have the Spyglass here in a second, you'll see. Here comes the Dymos. So take out these guys as quickly as you can, because this is really the only super concern you have. And this is also why you have Med Brews, just in case. So as you can see, Dragon has landed. So we want our Deinonychus to attack him. So what we're going to do, Spyglass, Whistle Attack this target. And obviously they're going to go ahead and shred him to the best of their ability. Now actually, as long as the Manticore's down, we're going to go ahead and attack this guy too. Now obviously I want to run to the best of my ability to avoid all this stuff. Make sure you stay alive. Your Deinonychus are going to attack no matter what. You can see them just shredding that Manticore, which is super useful. They're being healed as well. Manticore is actually stuck, which is awesome. Okay. Avoid that getting knocked out thing. Pull out your spyglass again. Whistle attack that target. Give them that little boost. You can see they are shredding. And that dragon, the reason these things are so powerful is he's trying to attack me and he doesn't even register that the Deinonychus are there. And you'll notice some of them even hop on his back, which is pretty crazy. And he'll take damage for a long, long time afterwards. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and attack him again. Lovely. But you don't want to let him go too far because that Mesopithecus, that Gigantopithecus, is uh, something that can be quite dangerous if you let them... Alright. Apparently they have decided to continue to attack him. They're doing fine, so that's a good thing. See how just how much damage that shred does, which is just crazy. Now we don't want to get that mega involved, so do whatever you can to avoid the mega, because that's when you lose boss fights. 
so they're coming back to me which is a good thing so we're just going to go ahead and let them do that this is live too i'm not like voiceovering this this is something that we're actually doing and unfortunately they have decided that attacking him so this, this is where you want to whistle passive we should be fine though i'm not super concerned because the same thing will happen so they'll shred him now what we're going to do really easy actually they're going to come back to you you want to pull the mega somewhere that he is still walking at you just like so when he is over here come on now big guys there we go so see how I'm doing this whistle attack this target I'm going to avoid everything he can't lift off so we're just gonna let this mega try to keep attacking us and it can't so you notice see right now you're gonna notice it does a lot of damage these these little guys are just not being hit by him he's still trying to get to me which is a good thing and I'm just gonna keep pulling him around the map and to avoid basically getting hit by him, you just keep running. It's pretty easy, actually. And you can notice they are just absolutely shredding him. This is not something that is very difficult. He is almost tostado. with doing very little damage. I'm going to give them a little bit of a C boost here. This is bad because I am pinned. So try to avoid what I just did right there because the more pinned you get, the more in trouble you are. Now, obviously, he's just about toast. So we're going to whistle attack this target, which is fine. See how much how much damage they're doing? Look how crazy that is. So as you can see, it's not really hard. You just have to be very careful. Because the point of this entire thing is you are basically avoiding and supporting. So you can see they're boosted. I'm going to give them another bit of a boost. And it's really not hard. All you have to do is keep running in a circle and avoid taking damage. And your little tames will do the work for you. Now this is the hardest part. You want to just avoid the manticore until it lands. <clears throat> now if you have everything on attack whistle target, they will automatically go after it as soon as it lands. So you just want to keep it close. See how much damage it's taken? So Dynamicas are probably the best way to solo do this boss fight. That's my biggest suggestion. You obviously don't have to, but I would. Now what I do usually is I'll just run in circles until he lands. And he should be landing, I think. Nope, nope. He decided not to. Now this is why you have your med bruise. Take your med bruise if you get hit by that purple stuff so you keep your health up high. And it's not really that hard. So we're going to go ahead and he just landed so we got to pull him down to our little guys here. Our little minion army. Okay. He is not deciding that he wants to work right now which is fine. And this is why you bring the shotgun just in case. If he's not landing, what you're going to do you're just going to pull out that shotgun and shoot him because that's all you can do. Now, obviously there are other ways to go about this, but seeming how we have a lot of time left, I think we've probably got about 20 minutes left. I have that kind of turned off right now. We're just going to go ahead and shred him and wait for him to land. Oh, well, oops. I guess one of them lost. Oh, well. So now, oh. Wow, come on. Now, obviously this is the biggest pain in the butt about this because you don't wait for this thing to land. Once it lands, it's easy, but getting it to land is not not the greatest thing he might be landing now and there they go so as you can see as soon as he lands they'll just go after him and they do that after effect damage so they'll keep shredding him and as you can see right now he's doing a little bit of damage to him which is problematic but they're doing fine I've only lost two and he'll keep taking damage as he goes up in the air which is a good thing uh, they have me wedged up in the air that's fun so I got hit by a little of those Mesopithecus. Not a big deal, but again, keep in mind, remain calm. It's not a big deal. I've got my Deinonychus following me around. And he is almost done. So we just got to get him to land one more time. Pretty easy, actually. And da -da -da, just keep running, doing your circles. Now with this, the biggest thing you can do for yourself is remain calm and use the exact order that I did. I'd like to keep, like, remind you of that. Take out the dragon first. Do not aggro more than one boss at the same time because that's how you lose this boss fight. One boss at a time and you'll be fine. And he is deciding that coming down is not as in an interest. Please. I would really appreciate it. There we go. You'll notice as soon as he lands, I give you guys the boost. Boom. And that's literally as easy as this boss fight is. It is not very hard. 
it is something that you can do pretty simply. These guys are, as you can see, not very bloody at all. Two of them died because they got focused on. Oh, this guy's kind of bloody. But as you can see, it's doable. Now, would I suggest doing it alone? Of course not. But if you have no other option, this is a way that you can do it alone. Um, just use the Deinonychus. It's really not that difficult. Bring a UD Deodon, and I mean, you can bring 18 Deinonychus. There's no problem with that. Just make sure you make sure that the bosses are not attacking them. So stay, keep your distance, make sure they're attacking, and then do not let more than one boss get aggroed at the same time. That's how you lose this boss fight. Do not let more than one boss aggro you at the same time. Really not that difficult of a process. Again, if you're leaving this thing and you've never done it before, make sure you are standing still, because if you're not standing still, this is how you lose stuff. Make sure that element is on you, because that's the important thing. And that's as easy as the boss fight is. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, as usual, I will keep pumping out things that are helpful for you, and you returned. You can do this on repeat. You just need to gather the artifacts. If you know where they are, cool. If not, check out some of my videos on those. And I will catch you guys later. Teachers Game 2, out.